Hi, I'm Tiffany Calvert, County Extension Agent for Family and Consumer Sciences. And I'm Angie Hudnall, Registered Nurse, uh, Health Improvement Program Specialist at Purdue Farms. Okay, and as part of the OC Healthy series, today's lesson is staying motivated to prevent type 2 diabetes. Mm -hmm. And so Angie and I have already been discussing um, some things that we could definitely improve on. So we've got a lot of ideas to share with you. Um, I'm going to start off with a story about Marie. And this is Marie's story. Marie is at risk for type 2 diabetes, so she decides to eat right and get active. Marie works hard and sticks to her plan. As a result, she reaches her weight goal. She also reaches her activity goal. Strangely enough, once she reaches her goals, Marie doesn't feel quite as motivated. She starts sliding back to her old habits. Marie decides to take action. She thinks about how far she's come, she sets a new weight goal, and she commits to her healthy lifestyle all over again. She even gets her husband to join her. Today, Marie is back to feeling motivated. She plans to live a long and healthy life. So, we have both experienced <laughs> a Marie episode in our life, right? That's right. Where That's right. we either reached our goals or maybe we didn't, but we just kind of lose it. We just lose it. It's um, hard to stay motivated for long periods of time. It is. It is. And Angie and I have been away from each other for a time period, yes. and we're thinking that was our accountability partner. Yeah. Um, and so, we just want you to think about um, the goals that you've set for yourself, reevaluate those goals. You know, whether you have achieved it or not, if you're feeling less motivated or zero motivated, then you need to set a different goal. Um, and set, you know, what if you've reached your weight loss goal? You know, then don't concentrate on weight loss. Maybe you are just setting a goal to maintain that weight. And it sounds silly, but how many of us have set a goal, we've lost the weight, or we have exercised so much and we have so much energy and we feel fantastic and you're thinking, I'll never go back to my old ways. Mm -hmm. And then what? You know, uh, yeah, you find yourself seeping back into those old habits. So setting the goal to just maintain where you're at is beneficial, okay, because we need those goals. So Angie has some ideas on how we could celebrate our successes. Well, some people um, blog about it, you know, because if you've done that, done that journey, you know, you have learned new things. Hey, this is what works for me. And there's other people out there that what you've done will work for them. So, you know, some people, they just post on Facebook. You can, we have some people in our community that do live videos about theirs. Of course, we have the OC Healthy. Um, but do a blog. Do something on Facebook. Do social media. Tell your friends. Tell everybody, hey, this is what I'm doing. You know, this is the new smoothie I created out of your recipe. You know, mm -hmm. let them know because someone else is going to enjoy that as well. Right. Um, I've seen um, a post on Facebook about a almond, a cashew frosting. I'm like, I can't wait to do that. And if she hadn't posted that, I'd have never even knew that thing existed. Right. It's almost like after you motivate others, it like re-motivates yourself. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And so then I say, hey, oh my gosh, thank you for posting this. And then I'm sure that, like you said, that motivates her as well. Mm -hmm. So definitely get all those things that you have done or you are doing that you're thinking, well, it's not that big a deal. It is a big deal and let everybody else know it. Give yourself a small non-food reward for reaching each goal. You know, I used to reward myself with ice cream. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Don't do that anymore. <laughs> or at the grocery <laughs> store after you've spent hours in the grocery store and you're standing in the checkout lane and those candy bars are there. Yeah. Y'all don't do that. Watch my call, it's all in my name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean... You've, if you've lost weight or you've um, done but you know, improved your physical health, um, buy yourself a new outfit, you know. Mm -hmm. Go buy that, even though it's maybe just a new uniform. It's something that you feel good. Oh, yeah, I got my new uniform on today. Or I got my new gym clothes. Or I just got me a new going out. out. Something. Yeah. You know, there's always something. Or uh, like a trip with a friend. There you go. That would be fun. Something yeah, non-food. 
yeah I took my mom to Nashville and we had a really good time and it was for no particular reason just to spend the day and that was definitely a reward for she and I both yeah and you can actually double dip if your trip with your friend is like kayaking or you know something that's going to get you out and get some exercise in that would be a great idea and you've motivated that person with you as well yeah yeah good Um, make a graph of your progress over time weight steps per day clothing size it's really good I love my job because where I'm at, I document, you know, like if you come to me and I say, you know, this is where your weight is, this is what your height is, this is what your body fat is, and I always make, you know, they say that they drink six Cokes a day, and then a year later they come back to me and I'm like, look at you, oh my God, look at your weight, how much you're losing and how... And it's, it's so good to look back and say, wow, it's measurable. So keep those things... Um, If you're only getting 500 steps on your Mm -hmm. phone. Look back a year ago, okay? Yeah, I was only getting 500, but now I'm getting 1,200. Mm -hmm. You know, that's something to be proud of. Mm -hmm. Um, Post then and now photos of yourself. That's really good one to put on the fridge. This is what I used yeah. to look like. Yeah. Most of those photos <laughs> probably just need to be kept within your home, yeah. um, whether it's on the fridge or on your dresser, but it's a motivator. Absolutely. For sure. Absolutely. And you'll notice even the difference, not in just your physical health, but your skin, the color of your mm-hmm. skin, the readiness or mm-hmm. the clearness or the clearness of your eyes, you'll notice a big difference. Mm -hmm. And then the way you carry yourself is going to be different as well. You Mm -hmm. feel good. You're not like, oh, I've just got to make it through the day. But you're feeling good, and you'll notice the difference in that as well. Share your success on social media. We kind of talked about that already. Mm -hmm. So you can motivate others, and then their inspiration to them comes back to you and motivates you again. Yeah. Thank friends, family, and coworkers who support you. It's really, 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 really hard when your family still brings in bad stuff, or your coworkers brings in bad stuff, and you're like, and they're like, "Hey, Angie, I brought cupcakes in today. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I really want one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. With um, Greg's uh, wife, um, who was took a big change in her life and her co-workers for her birthday and this is how much of a difference she made within her office okay wow. bought her like healthy snacks and bought her weights for her birthday because wow. they knew that that's what wow. she would want that, wow. that's what she was into so that's wow. what they got her yeah that's awesome mm-hmm. so for those that are supporting you definitely let them know that they you thank them for their support because mm-hmm. it is hard um, to do that and then of course try on your before clothes you know a lot of people like Tiffany and I if we have something that we no longer wear we just pitch it yep. <laughs> but it's really good to keep that one outfit you're like I really felt bad in this outfit this was my fat outfit <laughs> I felt really horrible and keep that thing holding on the back of your closet yeah. and you know, open up that um, we'll never wear you again yeah <laughs> That would be good. Good motivation. Mm -hmm. And then a success journal. That's telling yourself that's, you know, um, this is how I feel. I feel good today. I feel, you know, I feel inspired today. I feel like running today. I feel like walking today. I feel like getting up versus, you know, three months ago, I'm dragging myself out of bed. There's absolutely no time. You know, you'll notice a difference journaling and telling yourself what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And then the very last one and the most important one is support someone else. We have supported each other, and we've been away from each other for a little while, and we've noticed that yeah. difference. And just continue to build your support group. You know, if you have one or two individuals that support you um, the most, that's great. Stick with them, but also reach out to people that just are not on board yet, and try to get them uh, motivated to, d- to to do some healthy things. That's right. Um, just small steps, small steps. So if you build your support group, you're just going to have more people around you that are making the same healthy decisions. And the more the merrier, you know. These are people that you go out to eat with. These are people that you're gonna be walking on your lunch break with. And so the, the more the better. Um, and so we're gonna talk a little bit about how to overcome challenges of staying motivated. The first one is the challenge of being bored. Um, you know, when you're not reaching your goals or you've already reached your goals, you can get kind of bored in the idea of exercising and eating right. And so revisit your goals, set new goals for yourself, um, take part in a friendly competition. 
And so um, at work, there were three of us girls who um, had weekly competitions. And for example, one week, um, the competition was you have to drink five green smoothies in a week, okay? So it was attainable because we said, okay, there's a couple of days in there we might miss. Right. So we're allowing us seven days to drink five smoothies. And we set the rules up. You know, if you skip a day, you can't drink two smoothies the next day to make <laughs> to up for up. it. Yeah. Um, and so, and then the winner was, um, you know, maybe there we put a dollar in the pot. So the winner got three bucks at the end of the week. Just small stuff. Um one week it was so many minutes of physical activity per day and then the loser of that challenge at the end of the week had to clean the other two person's vehicle whoa (laughs) (laughs) and uh, it was just you know short you know anybody can stick to something in a week yeah and we always knew the challenge that was coming up so that we could get prepared for it. One week we did a detox challenge. Wow. So there was this detox that we all wanted to try. And so we went out, we got the supplies, and we had to do that one seven days. Um, and then at the end of the week, we chose a winner. And, you know, most of the time we were all winners because we're so competitive. We didn't want to let the other two get one up (laughs) on us, so um, it was just fun. But, you know, it's so hard whenever you're um, trying to hold each other accountable because one person falls off, you're like, eh, well, she's not doing it, so I'm not going to do it because it was myself and my daughter and her friend, and we was doing yoga every week. Mm -hmm. We was doing great, and I was feeling good, Mm -hmm. and then I sprained my ankle, and I'm like, well, I'm not going this week because I sprained my ankle. It is (laughs) terrible. I had... (laughs) Yep. And get it wrapped and everything else. And so, of course, that knocked the other two out. So the more you can motivate each other, the better. Because I thought, well, when I get I get better, I'll go back. I haven't gone back yet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, as far as getting bored with your fitness goals, try a new fitness app. You know, there is a slew of free fitness apps that you can get on your phone. Try a new one. Um, Try exercising while listening to music, watching TV. Um, I know in college, the only way that I could stay awake reading my textbooks was to try to, you know, read it while I was on the elliptical. Wow. (laughs) Um, It can be done. It's a little bit more challenging, but it can be done. Um, And then, you know, maybe call a friend. If you can't physically walk with them, talk with them while you're doing some sort of physical activity. Um, and then, of course, working out with a friend or a family member, or maybe you're making contact with a person you haven't seen or heard from in a while, and then while you're walking, you have a lot to catch up on. And if your brain is not focused on how many steps you're making right. or the hill that you got to climb that's in front of you, it's like you don't even realize it. You've already worked out, walked your three miles, and you're done. That's a great idea. Um, so that's a way that you can prevent from getting bored. Um So another challenge is, and this is what we've kind of faced, is getting off track. It's like once you, one bad decision, just one. You're stepping off the slope (laughs) and then it's like you just tumble, right? The dominoes all fall. (laughs) One bad decision leads to another. But that may sound negative, but the the opposite is true. One good decision leads to another. And it just builds and builds and builds and builds and builds. Um, and so think about that when you're making your um, activity goals or your, um, you know, how to eat. When I was juicing a lot, you know, in, in the expense of it and the time that I had invested in it made it where I was making more um, positive goals for myself. Like I knew if I was going to drink carrot juice for breakfast... I'm not going to have a donut that day because right. I felt like it was just going to cancel it out. Right. And right. I had already spent the money, drank the juice, and spent time juicing it. Yeah. So one good decision leads to another. Um, and so if you do get off track, problem shoot it, okay? Why, like when, you have to backtrack a little bit. You have to think about when and why did I get off track? Let's see. Okay. It was Thursday at 2 o'clock. What was happening? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can usually go back and, and target what caused it. Okay. Right. 
Um, if there is a high stress level, like a death in the family, sickness, um, most of the time we want to kind of reward ourselves or baby ourselves mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. accommodate for that, you know. Um, you know, I can tell you when work gets busy and there's no grocers in the home, you better watch out. That's when my family eats out five nights in the week. And then by then, it has crushed my soul to the point where I'm like, let's just go for ice cream, you know? <laughs> like, and I know we better. We don't blew it. Let's just go and get what we want. <laughs> I know better. I, but it, it, at the same time, I feel so defeated that I'm like, what's the point of even trying? Right. So we've all been there. Yeah. Um, and that's why it's so important to have so many um, accountability partners, somebody that can get us back on track and get us there fast. Yeah. Um, you know, and how can I prevent that? is to always plan ahead, plan for times of busyness, you know. Um, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't take much more effort to look into my calendar and think, okay, this is going to be one busy week at work. Yeah. Okay, that's when I need to fall back on Prepare my for that. crock pot meals and um, maybe you need to do some meal prepping and put some healthy meals in the freezer. You, you know, go. it's mm-hmm. it's nothing to toss a frozen meal into the refrigerator in the morning before you leave and then cook it when you get home. There's mm-hmm. no chopping and preparing, and it takes a lot of time out. So there's ways to overcome your challenges for sure. So we hope that you can take some of our ideas and reach out to one of us. If you guys are um, struggling on setting your goals or getting bored with your goals or there's a challenge that we um, haven't talked about and you're going through it, let us know about it and we can share some ideas with you. Mm -hmm. Thank you.